This video is sponsored by Raycon. Their earbuds, headphones, and speakers have premium sound, a fit so comfortable it's like it's custom, 54 hours of battery life, and helpful features to make your listening experience as enjoyable as possible. They make a great affordable gift option because they start at half the price of other premium audio brands and will be something that your giftee can get use out of every single day. They also come in a range of beautiful colors you can choose from so you can get something that they'll really love. You could even get 30% off with Raycon's holiday bundles, like the gaming bundle that includes both earbuds and headphones, so you'll be covered for both mobile and switch gaming, as well as PC or console. I love using Raycons to listen to ASMR or an audiobook as I'm falling asleep. They don't have a little stem in the way, making me wake up with sore ears. Instead, their sleek profile makes sure that they lay completely flush against your ear as you're laying down. Click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash moon and use code EARLYBF to get 20% off site-wide or save even bigger and get 30% off Raycon's exclusive holiday bundles. There will also be different deals coming up throughout the holiday season and I'll try my best to keep the description box updated with the latest offers, but also just know you can always go to buyraycon.com slash moon for the latest and greatest offers Raycon has for you. Hello, hello, hello. I hope that you are doing very recently got back from my first ever trip to London. It was really fun. I'm currently working on editing a like travel vlog with all my footage from the trip. It's a lot of footage to work through, so I'm not sure how long it'll take me to get through it all, but I'm hoping to complete that soon. I'm really happy with how the footage turned out, for the most part. I was getting pretty frustrated with myself at some points because <laughs> I wish I brought a smaller lens. I was getting so mad at past Aaron who took this shot. Like, how did you manage to make it turn out this badly? Like, the only explanation for this is while I was doing the pan, I like did that in, in the middle, like just for fun. We have to be forgiving to past Aaron and understand that she was doing her best. Anyway, uh, yeah, so the reason I brought up London is because quite a few of the things that I want to show you are little souvenirs from the London trip. The first being a tote bag from the British Museum. It's got this little tag here. I think that the print on this tote is so beautiful. It perfectly represents the color palette that I love most that comprises the majority of my wardrobe. We've got this like warm yellow, rich green, soft red and I was trying to decide between this print on a tote bag or an umbrella. And while I do love this tote bag, 
totes come in very useful. I ended up really regretting my choice when it was time to film my vampire video because the only umbrella that I had was like bright blue striped and I was like, shit, I would so much rather this vampire have an umbrella that looks like this <laughs> but what made me feel a bit better about it was somebody commented I like that the pattern of her umbrella looks like a spider web because, you know, we're like a spider caught in our web I thought that was so sweet I was like, wow, you guys always have the like most flattering interpretations <laughs> of my videos and I really appreciate that <laughs> But yeah, let me give you a full view of the tote. See her in her full glory. Pretty cute. It is unfortunately stained on the inside. ready to finish the banana. I had high hopes that I could put this half-eaten banana in my bag and revisit it at a later time. But a uh, few, few hours later come to find that banana is in the sorriest state I've ever seen a banana in. A sorry state I didn't even know. <laughs> a state so sorry. I didn't even know it was possible for a banana to that depth, those those levels of despair, it was rough, and it was so embarrassing because, like, when I like peeked in my bag and realized it, I was in the middle of um, a tour of like a historic mansion, and it was a very serious, like, solemn, no talking tour that the whole time I just kept thinking like why does it smell like banana in here and I was trying to focus focus on the historical information and the people around me were as well and I'm so scared at the thought that maybe this whole door they were also thinking why does it smell like banana in here and lo and behold it was me it was my sorry little banana wasting away in my new tub and now I have um, the stains to prove it, unfortunately. I don't like to get too meta, <laughs> like uh, spend a video just talking about making videos. I just, I don't know, don't know that you'd be able to find it too relaxing. But I don't know, I just always, I guess because that's what I, do with my life is make videos. I guess inevitably that's going to be what I have to talk about. But I, um, there's this fabric store. It's like a mom and pop fabric store that has been my go-to place anytime I've needed fabrics for my whole YouTube career, which has been since I think like 2010. And I loved that place. They had the cool fabrics. If you go to Joann's or Michael's, you might find something unique, but this place always had uh, unique, beautiful fabrics for good prices, and they were really nice there. And yeah, I just had a lot of good memories at that place. And unfortunately, they did not survive COVID. They shut down. And I have sorely missed them. Their absence has been felt. And I haven't been sure where to get fabrics from now when I need something neat for a video. So I tried to order one online and it didn't end up looking like the pictures. <laughs> from the pictures, I was expecting this to be not stripes. I was anticipating more of like a subtle So I'm not sure what to use it for. 
it could still work. I have been surprised in the past by a single item on its own can look ridiculous, but within the larger context of a backdrop, it can uh, not only blend in well, but actually like the weirdness of it elevates the look of the set. So I'm hoping that will be the case with this, but I kind of doubt it because it's just like truly a rainbow stripe fabric. <laughs> but um, the flip side is yellow and I'm sure I'll be able to make use of that. But the video concept is one I've been thinking about for years. It's a dream seller. So she's going to have bottles on bottles on bottles on bottles filled with mysterious shimmering liquids that if you drink them will give you certain dreams. So I'm thinking she's going to show you her pre-made mixes and tell you about the dreams they'll give you and then maybe she'll put together a custom dream for you of just what you'd like. into this little shop where she had lots of different handmade things like jewelry and pottery and I walked into the shop, saw the rack of earrings, picked these three pairs out and immediately went up to the register. I just, as soon as I saw them, knew that I loved them and I wanted them and I thought it was sweet that she really appreciated that not only was I getting three of her jewelry pieces, but the fact that I picked them out so quickly and like made a beeline for the register, it just seemed like she was like, um, that made her feel good about her work, which made me feel good. Um, so yeah, the first pair are the ones I'm wearing at the moment. So it's this like clear crystal. And then the next pair are carnelian and copper. So there's... No, not me. <laughs> the little spheres of carnelian. And then the like oxidized copper leaves. Very beautiful. And then these last ones I thought Working the makeup shop. 
I just, I don't know, out of all the qualities a person can have, one that I'm always, I think, most jealous of, but like, not in a like, bitter, green with envy kind of way, more just sort of like, oh wow, I really admire you, is, um, yeah, just like being comfortable and charismatic with people, with strangers, in a way that doesn't feel schmoozy or manipulative or artificial ever. It just really feels like you are open and warm and excited to connect with and learn from the people around you. I just think that's the best. And, um, yeah, she just was like, talking to the girls and they're like, they were already friends and they were, you know, exchanging their makeup opinions and stuff. It was really sweet. So, this brand is called R-O-M ampersand N-D. So, it's probably just pronounced Romand. And it has a beautiful array of colors. You might be able to tell I'm wearing it tonight. I've got some like rosy sparkly stuff going on on my lids. So this is the Better Than Palette 00 Light and Glitter Garden. And the color names. Let me make sure I'm showing you the right way. Okay. So this is Dewdrop. surprised by it the first time I applied it. I was expecting them to be your ordinary run-of-the-mill dry powder shadows, but they're like a bit wet. They're creamy, which maybe sounds awful, but is actually really nice, especially when it comes to glitters, because it means that they will actually reliably adhere <laughs> to your skin and are less likely to just flake. Smatter over the rest of your face. So I'm excited to see all the different looks I'll be able to create with this. I was so pleased to have it when I made my mermaid video. It worked out so well for my mermaid makeup look. My favorite colors are definitely purple fantasy. I love the like chunky purple pink glitters in there. And then this one champagne flow makes for such a lovely inner eye highlight. Then I have this little pouch from the Moomin store featuring Stinky. And Stinky is a quite dastardly fellow if you weren't already aware. Always up to some sort of mischief or mayhem, probably both. And he's surrounded by these gorgeous pink flowers. He's probably going to eat them all. I'm not sure what is going to go in this little pouch. There are many possibilities. What sort of items do you think that Stinky would most like
other Moomin souvenir I picked up that I'm really excited about is this crossbody bag that features this glorious scene of Moomin and friends gallivanting in the forest. Someone taking a little nap here. <laughs> she looks quite smug, pleased with herself. He's flying a kite. Doesn't seem too happy about it. He's playing it cool. If I were flying a kite, I think I would be making an expression like that too. Not because I wasn't having fun, but because I was playing it cool. Having a kite in your hands, that's already, that's already exhilarating enough. If you were also smiling on top of that, it would just be too much, far too much. It's like you're rubbing in people's faces that you're flying a kite. This little lady hiding behind it's Mr. Woman here The top hat Oh, she holding like a basket of fruits That's cute Smatterings of flowers All around And like a meadow I just love the color palette And art style of this And On the inner lining It's the loveliest shade Of teal and then on the inside, I got a packet of uh, tea. It's Nordavest tea. Inside, you'll find five delicious Moomin teas. Go for it, which is a blueberry muffin tea. It's Playtime, which is bergamot and orange. Wonders of the World, truffle and chocolate. Magic Storm. Rosy dreams, black tea, vanilla, and red berries. Oops, sorry, it's upside down. And it says a letter from a friend. I also had tucked inside there One of my favorite restaurants uh, that we went to in London was called Cora Pearl My two favorites were Cora Pearl and I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, Close Maggiore uh, Were amazing Both um, by far the fanciest restaurants I've ever been to in my life Which was a bit intimidating Herself right here And I actually was so interested by this That I went and like read her whole Wikipedia page Which I would recommend If you're into that sort of thing I found, I found it fun to read Cora Pearl Was a 19th century courtesan Who started her career in Covent Garden And ended up as the queen Of Parisian nightlife She was both notorious and yet Very refined Able to capture the heart and fortunes of both naive young bloods and seasoned statesmen alike. Famed for her wit and her lithe sensuality, she bathed in onyx baths and had herself presented at dinner parties on a huge silver platter with parsley covering her modesty. <gasps> she also became a wonderful savior to wounded and dying soldiers during the siege of Paris by the Prussians in 1870. Turning her palace on the champs of Lissy into a hospital. After this, she returned to England, famously being ejected from the Grosvenor Grosven the Hotel by a manager furious to discover that the lady who'd been staying there in luxury for a week was actually the notorious courtesan Cora Pearl. She wrote her memoirs to try and boost her dwindling income and finally died. 
himself instead of her. And then that was just such a scandal that she, like, it ruined her reputation, I guess. I don't know. Pretty juicy. Okay, this next thing is kind of random. I thought it'd be a fun product to share with you. So, this is Elmer's... Elmer's Goo in the shade Mermaid's Gem. It's scented. You've got a cutie pie little mermaid here with her pink hair and her green tail. And in the top of it here, it's got some beads for crunchy mix-ins to make it more fun to play with. I'm not sure what this is scented as. Whatever Mermaid's Gems smell like, I suppose. Oh, wow. It smells like grape juice, I think. My boyfriend actually bought this because he was making his own costume for Halloween. And he, like, he wanted to be a wizard. So he got this just, like, plain black cape. And then got some, like, holographic paper that he cut all these different stars and moon shapes out of. And got this in order to adhere those to the cape with. And I was so confused why this was what he got. So I was looking at it and he was like, yeah, it's uh, Elmer's glue, like it's a holographic Elmer's glue. And I was like, I'm so sorry, I have terrible news. What you've purchased is not Elmer's glue, but in fact, in fact, Elmer's goo. Yeah, pretty devastating. Uh, but yeah, thankfully we also have actual glue in the house, so it was all good. showing us. Here's what his wings can do. This is what his wings are capable of, so watch out. They're poseable. They can before you know what's happening. Um, yeah, lately I've gotten very into Legos. <laughs> I didn't, um, grow up with it. I don't know why. I, like, it was just never something that I was introduced to as a kid. I've made the, um, I don't know if you've seen the succulents, the succulent Legos. I'm working on a camper van. Um, I made one that's like, another Halloween one that's like a cat and a mouse. I just think, I think they're so fun. I don't know why it never occurred to me that I would like them because I really like puzzles. They're like puzzles, but better. They're 3D. Uh, when I bought the camper van set at, uh, I was about to say Blockbuster. Barnes and Noble. Um, when I bought that, the lady, like, rung me up, and then when she handed me the bag with the Legos in it, she said, Happy building! I just thought that was so cute. And then when I bought this at the Lego store, I was expecting them to say happy building to me, and they did not. I wasn't actually expecting it, but I just thought it was such a cute thing to say that I just, I think that they should, I think she should tell everybody, I think she should tell Lego about it. And Lego should start telling all of their cashiers to, after they ring you up, say happy building. It's so cute. Then I have a keychain from the Natural History Museum in London. This was a really fun place to visit. Uh, this is just like metal, so it's not gonna make any sort of like nice sounds, I don't think, but I was just excited to show it to you because I think it's cute. 
I hope that you 